What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. So this previous weekend, we had a, uh, well, not only one regional, but actually uh, two regionals that uh, we have the results of at this point. So what we're gonna be doing is going over the results of these tournaments and uh, just briefly talking about what happened, uh, just trends that we're seeing in the metagame. And yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video because I don't have too much time today, uh, but if you guys enjoyed the same point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. That's my comment question of the day, which is, what do you think is going to be the next big metagame trend? Anyways, let's get into it. So, what I am going to say is that um, I think that Hartford Regionals, it seems that we've sort of established where this game is. I think that um, Hartford Regionals is going to be more of what we've been seeing, where... Malmo Regionals is going to be where we see a little bit more development um, on certain ends of things. And I need to point something out. I need to point something out. No one believed me. And everyone, I, I, I all right. So I mean, I, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna start off with this. So a few weeks ago, I said, personally, I think Gyarados is better than Palafin, but just by a little bit. And I had so many people in my replies saying, oh, you know what? This is the worst take ever. This is the worst take ever. Look at this. Look, at, find the palafin. Show me the palafin. There's one palafin, or there's two palafins, two Gyarados, and then Gyarados is way overrepresented in every other team. And then you look over here. There's no palafin. There's one palafin here. You know, but it's it's mostly Gyarados as far as like water types on teams, bro. I'm just saying history has history has absolved me of my Gyarados take. Anyways, uh, let's cover the Hartford Regionals really quick. So the winner was Tang Shilang, and it looks like uh, the team that they were running was is sort of what we've seen from uh, a lot of other things. So I, I would say that this team is just sort of like good stuff offense. Um, we've seen the combination of Flutter Main, Iron Bundle, and King Gambit obviously do like very well in tournaments. Um, Arcanine is obviously just like probably one of the best Intimidators in the format. And Chen Pao, Dragonite uh, are just an iconic combo that do well on lead. I think that as far as like what this team is telling us about the development of the metagame, I don't think it tells us much. Um, I think that it's just something that we've known is good um, and that is going to be reliable going forward. Uh, I actually did see a lot of Dragonite plus Chen Pao in my personal run of this tournament. I played a lot of them. Um, and we do see that like Chen Pao is pretty represented in this top eight. Um, yeah, I, I mean, like, I don't think there's too much to, to learn off of this. Uh, as far as other results, uh, we do see that uh, Azumarill actually took second place, which is actually kind of huge. Azu is a water type that I think is heavily slept on right now. Um, and I think more importantly, what we need to take away from these uh, results is that Rain is in fact not dead. So if we look at this, the winner of the uh, Malmo Regional Championships was Matty Morgan, who did run a Rain team. And that Rain team consists of Pelipper, Palafin, and just stuff that we would have seen in like Series 2. As a matter of fact, it is basically a Series 2 team that won the whole tournament. There was no ruins on it. And if we look at the second place team from uh, Hartford Regionals, this is once again a Series 2 team. There are no uh, ruins whatsoever. Uh, so, I, I mean, like, this is something that I said at the beginning of the format. I said, hey, guys, uh, I, I don't think ruins are necessarily required to win these things. As a matter of fact, sometimes you don't want to fit them onto the team because it's hard to put a dark type um, on, on a team when, like, they're... Are, the ruins sort of tunnel vision you, right? Like, if you have the ruin, you have, like, a dark type. That's just how it goes. If you don't have a ruin, it makes it easier to build a team that just sort of works. You're not doubling down on fairy weaknesses in a Flutter main metagame. So that is that is really important. As a matter of fact, we don't see a ruin until we get to top four, which is going to be the fourth place player, Pontus Westerland. And then as far as um, our for regional championships go, uh, we actually, you know, a ruin did win the whole thing. Um, but... You know, it, once again, I would say that the ruins aren't necessarily required because second place had no ruins. So yeah, 
Um, other notable teams, Kyle Livinghouse did actually manage to make top eight with a Wo Chen team. So, you know, as, as a as a Wo Chen warrior, um, I think that this is actually really nice. Uh, and yeah, I mean, so Chi Yu, Wo Chen are actually something that uh, fit relatively well together, uh, as well as Flutterman. The way that like Wo Chen is able to support a team is basically by being a pseudo intimidate. It's able to bypass the uh, defiant boost that a King Gambit would get from an intimidate uh, where... You know, if you were to switch in a Gyarados on King Gambit and try to get your Fluttermane to live a Sucker Punch, well, you just made things like 100 times worse, uh, or roughly 1.5 times worse. Where if you switch in the uh, the Wo Chen, your Fluttermane's going to eat that just fine, and you're not really worried about that. Same goes with, like, Chi Yu. Chi Yu is able to benefit heavily from the defense boost that it's going to get from uh, Wo Chen just being on the field. And being able to pollen puff Pokemon around it to keep them healthy, for example, Assault Vest Iron Hands and bulkier Booster Energy Flutter Mains are, are going to be doing a lot for your team uh, as far as uh, just keeping them going in, in longer matches. So yeah. Um, other results I want to take a look at. Let's, uh, let's take a look at Malmo. So Malmo, I think that it's once again more of the same, but I, I do want to take a brief moment to talk about um, a team that we see a little bit further down. So there are things that happen in, in EU that sometimes confuse me. Um, for example, if we look at if we look at uh, Jamie Boyd's team, Jamie was running a Howl Scream Tail with Power Band. Power Band making you slower. Um, it, it just lowers your speed. Uh, but the Torkoal had Flare Blitz. And that messes with me. So it's like hard trick room with Dondos on it, right? And, and you, he made the, the Screamtail slower by giving it the power band. Um, it has Psychic Fangs, Dream Punch, Howl Trick Room. We see, you know, loaded dice group on it. The Torko is is what's sending me here. I mean, I I kind of get it, right? It's it's an AV Torkoal. It has Eruption as it's like main stab. But if you have Howl Screamtail next to it, I suppose that plus one Flare Blitz in the sun is going to be pretty strong even coming off a of Torkoal because Torkoal's like attack set isn't unusable, you know? So if we look at Torkoal here, yeah, like its attack set is the same as its like special attack set, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be like uninvested. But the, the reason you get away with this because you're not running an attack reducing nature ever. You're always running a speed reducing nature. So even quiet Torkoal can put like, I don't know, four attack in while still maxing out like everything. I, I don't know, like you could do like this maybe yeah that's that's a spread <laughs> i don't know um but yeah flare blitz is base 120 so it is like a fairly strong move i'm trying to think of what it hits specifically um that it would like it would, it would be able to deal with here uh i i guess it's solid in the ting lu ting lu's physical defense is pretty high but uh if if you're having to go for like um an eruption after taking some damage the flare blitz would be doing more i don't know I'm, I'm still confused as to what it does other like weird things that we did see uh in day two day two keep in mind you have to go um x and two to actually qualify for that uh in day one is this team by yavar um vlager i think that's how you pronounce it uh but this one was probably the weirdest one of the entire tournament uh we do see right here there was a squawkabilly Choice Scarf Final Game at Squawkabilly. And the reason this just, this one's like insane to me is because Squawkabilly, yes, it is like a solid Choice Scarf Pokemon. Its HP is only like 80 and there are a lot of Pokemon with, you know, decent HP in this format. For example, like Organicals, like base 100, uh, King Gambit's base 100, Palafin's base 100, Tyranitar base 100. A lot of Pokemon aren't at 85 HP. And the Pokemon that do have that kind of like low HP stat, um, like for example, what, what's Golden Go's HP again? Golden Go, no, Golden Go's 87. I was going to say it's a ghost type, so it wouldn't matter. Uh, Fluttermane has that low HP and it's a ghost type, so it doesn't matter. Chi Yu tends to run, like Chi Yu and Chen Pao tend to run Terra Ghost, so it wouldn't matter for them too. So I'm just like, what was this hitting? I'm so confused, but it did well. It's like what messes with me, right? So yeah, we see um we see the choice scarf um gray bird final gambit parting shot tailwind uh squawk ability. It has intimidate, which is fairly nice. Uh we see leftovers, rage fist, bulk up annihilate, fairly standard. Next to a Ting Lu, like this is something that we've seen 
uh, Klefki, Annihilate is like a thing that we've seen. No Dozo Tatsugiri with Storm Drain to protect the uh, Ting Lu is something that has been talked about a few times, but it's not like... I think it was mostly just saying that like was used in online Japan tournaments, uh, but we haven't seen it do well in like a in a IRL tournament until now. And then finally, Dedun Sparse, which is running Hyper Drill, Rock Slide, Glare, and Protect with Wide Lens and Terra Ghost. So if you don't know what Hyper Drill does, is it's basically like a non-critting Wicked Blow that's normal type, like here. Hyper Drill, hundred percent. Normal type, physical move, bypasses protection without breaking it. I feel like it should break protection, uh, personally, if you're drilling, right? But um, I'm wondering what that was for. It's it's like a strong move, right? Like base 100 coming off of like 100, that's not like the worst. Um, but as far as things that are like super common that it can one-shot, I, I would not one-shot, but at least like do decent damage to. Especially when this team doesn't have like a Chen Pao. I guess Hyper Drill could one-shot Chi Yu. I think that's going to be basically it, though. Rock Slide. Is it Serene Grace? It is Serene Grace. I guess Rock Slide with, like, Thunder Wave next to it could be, like, really frustrating to play against, especially with Tailwind. I I'm thinking that this Dedunce Bar showed up to more games than, than we expect. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, I would say Hartford Regionals confirms what we think about the metagame. Malmo Regionals sort of tells us where it's kind of going and some weird tech kind of popped up around Malmo, which made it kind of interesting, you know? Um, but yeah, th those are all my thoughts. I actually don't, I usually have a little bit more to take away than uh, Rain is good, Palafin is bad, and there's a Dadun Sparse in day two. But I don't know, this is kind of a, these are, these are some either, one was very normal, one, one tournament result was very normal, and one was very strange. That's all, that's how I'm gonna put it, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, also, I, I went six and three. I went six and three, and I bubbled out of points. I was so annoyed. Yeah, so I'm not in top 128. I went six and three, though, which is enough to get 128, but my resistance wasn't good. I'm very sad about that. Anyways, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.